Hey there friends, it's Cynthia. So happy to see you again. You know, the lazy days of summer are sometimes just what we need, but when you need to be invigorated and recharged, I've got a practice for you. In this segment, we're gonna energize the body, we're gonna use our strong muscle groups, and then we stretch it all out. We take our time with the body and the breath, as always. So thanks for being here again, and I hope you like it. I think you're going to especially if you've been laying on the couch all day. I know what you're doing. <laughs> Are you ready to do it? Let's get started. Let's begin in Shavasana today by lying down on your back and just stretching out. Enjoy this moment of grounding. As you place your hand on your heart, your other hand at your belly, and take a deep breath. As you exhale, feel your body just relaxing, releasing. Seal the lips now and continue breathing with ujjayi breath through the nose on each inhale and exhalation. Now lift the arms up and over your head, stretching long. And then exhale, coil it all in, upper body rising to meet the bent knees arms hovering by your sides, and then open it up 45 degrees with the arms and the legs, and then coil it back in. One more time, open and extend, and keeping the legs into the body now. Tuck the hands behind the head, extend the right leg long for Yogi Bicycle. Exhale as you draw the right knee in, extending the left leg. And now switch it. Keep the legs moving slowly, taking our time here, using that core strength. And now let's pick up the pace by touching the elbow to the opposite knee. Extending up and out of your shoulder blades by pressing the sacrum down. One more twist here. Now rest the upper body down and bring it all in, knees hugging into the chest. Stretch the feet down, seal them to the mat for bridge pose. Arms are extended beside you. Press the elbows and the shoulder heads down. Then press into the feet, lift the hips, and lengthen through the tailbone. Take a deep breath. Then rise onto the tippy toes and curl it down one inch at a time. Hug the knees into your heart, and let's rock it up into a seated position for the moment, and then stretch back for cat-cow. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, round it. Inhale for cow. Exhale, scoop it in. Inhale, lubricating our spine as you curl it in now, and coming to a neutral spine. Let's sink it back to child's pose. Stretch it back. Pause for a breath here. Feel your body just relaxing down. And now begin to scoop your belly up as you kneel now, rising up, arms swooping out to the sides. Overhead they go. Fingers touch. And then reverse your arms down to child's pose. Rounding up once again, squeezing everything into the midline as you touch your hands, and then sweep the arms out and forward back down to child's. Last time, scoop it up. Inhale, exhale, fold. Let's take a lateral stretch. So looking up at your hands, just walk them off to the left of your mat. Arms extended, let your right hip sink back. And now looking up as you inhale, walking the hands over, sealing them on the opposite side. Let's take it to the left hip now, pulling back to the left heel. Come back to center and lift yourself up into plank position. Press the thighs, lengthen tailbone to heels, and stretch the crown of your head forward as you spread through the collarbones and lowering down knees, chest, chin. 
Two cobras here, hands under the shoulders, lightly lifting the heart, the gaze, shoulders back, and then exhale to lower. Number two cobra rising up gently. Exhale to lower. Upward facing dog, hands under the elbows, reaching and stretching the arms straight. Spread through the collarbones here. And now let's go back for the first downward facing dog. Stretch the seat high, bend the knees a lot. Find that length in the spine as you press into the earth and begin to pedal out your heels. Stretching one straight leg and bending the other. And just take any organic movements that feel good to your body. Ujjayi breath. Now on your next inhale, raise the right leg, three-legged dog, and then hug it into your right elbow, core plank. Inhale, lifting, cross it to the other elbow. And then inhale, rising back to three-legged dog. Let's come through right in the middle, stepping into low lunge. Keep the knee down and the toe tucked as you reach the arms up and overhead. Draw the belly in. As you exhale now, lift the back knee straight off the earth, extend the arms behind you, and hovering over your bent knee, send your triceps back engaged as you shoot the crown of your head forward. Torso and arms are lifted now for a high crescent lunge, reaching up through the fingers and down through the pelvis. Preparing for high lunge kick. Shift your body weight forward into the standing front leg and then kick the left leg out. Reach the arms and leg back for high crescent lunge and then come back to your kick. Two more times. Exhale as you kick. Inhale as you lunge. Once more. Kick it. Breathe in. Pivot around into warrior two. Right leg is bent. Breathe the body into this moment. And now reverse your warrior, stretching your right arm up. And then exhale, turn the torso, heart to the knee, fold forward, hand on the earth. Windmill it back to reverse warrior. And let's keep it going two more times. Root through the back heel, extending through the flat back. Last time, let the left hand stay down. As you spin and pivot onto your back ball mound of your foot, coming into a runner's lunge twist, opening up through the right side of your body over that right knee. Now exhale back into downward facing dog. Inhale, let's shift forward into plank, chaturanga lower down. Inhale to your back bend and then exhale to your down dog. Pause for breath now and then we'll keep moving. Inhaling the left leg this time, three-legged dog, take it to the left elbow, core plank. Stretch it back, breathing in. Cross the body to the right elbow. Inhale, three-legged, and then exhale through the midline of the mat. Place your foot down, low lunge. Back knee rests, toe stays tucked, arms and torso are rising. Relax the shoulders down the sides of the waist as you extend through your spine. On your next exhale, sweep the arms behind you, lunge forward, lifting the back knee. Strong legs. Get your feet set, ready to rise up to high crescent lunge as you breathe in, the arms lift, torso lifts. And see if you can use your bones of your body to support you and release the tensing of the muscles. Ready for your kick? Focus on the left leg, kick out the right. Returning back to lunge. Kick it, lunge it, kick it, lunge it. One more kick, lunge it back and then pivot around to warrior two. Left leg is bent. Take a breath here. Pause for a moment. And now let's reverse it. 
and then windmill the right hand down, revolved angle. Sweep it back, keep flowing. One more time, hand goes back. Keep the right hand down and pivot into your twist over that left knee. Left arms extended. Bodies open up through the heart as you pull in the waist. Great job. Let your hand come down to the mat and shift back to downward facing dog. As you breathe in, shift forward, Chaturanga. Exhale to lower. Inhale to your up dog. And then exhale back to down dog. Woo! Great job. Take a few breaths here and just relax in this pose. Close your eyes. And feel that prana boost in your body. Now let's walk our hands back towards our feet and bow down in Uttanasana. Bend the knees, rolling up for upward salute, arms flying, fingers touch, hands in Anjali Mudra. Lower the arms, breathing in, raise them up, upward salute, and then bow down, hinging from the hips, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, exhale to lower, and then bend the knees, walk out for a Chaturanga. Exhale to lower, inhale to your up dog and exhale to down dog. And we'll flow through our sequence, breath to movement, breathing the right leg up, three-legged dog, exhale, right elbow, inhale, extend it, just like before, cross it over, and then stretch back to three-legged dog as you come forward, low lunge, arms extend, then sweep them back. I'll lift the back knee as we move with the breath, flowing up to high crescent. Exhale, take a kick. Two more times, stretch it back. Exhale to kick. Inhale to lunge and then pivot to your warrior two. Empty out. Reverse your warrior. And then windmill for a revolve side angle. Inhale, sweep it back twice more. Exhale, extend and lower. Inhale, lifting, and then this time, left hand stays down, taking the twist over the right knee. Open and breathe, and then exhale to your downward facing dog, stretch back. Inhale, vinyasa, exhale as you lower. Inhale, stretch your shoulder blades back, and then press the seat back for down dog. Flying now with the left leg, breathe in, and exhale it to your left elbow. Shifting back, extending, crossing to the right. Inhale, let's keep moving. Exhale with control, foot down, knee down. Low lunge, arms extend. And sweep the arms back, lift the knee. Torso, arms rise, high crescent. Exhale for the kick, stretch it for the lunge. Two more times, kick it out. Stretch it open now for warrior two. Bend the leg, sink the pelvis. Reverse your warrior. Right arm sweeps around, taps the earth, and then up and back it goes. Two more times, keep flowing. Find the energy of the pose. Inhaling, and then swooping up for your twist. Ah, feels great. Exhale the hand down now, finding downward facing dog. Pull the low belly in, and then take your chaturanga. Exhale, inhale to your back bend, and then exhale back to down dog. Woo, great job. Four breaths here, take your time. And spreading the feet a little wider, let's take a down dog twist as you reach your right arm around and grab onto the outer part of your left calf. And then come back to your downward facing dog and let's take it to the right. 
Grabbing onto that right leg, opening up your heart. Ah, release it now as you kick back the right leg for three-legged dog and bring it forward. Foot goes down, transitioning now into five-pointed star. Open up through the heart, take a deep breath, feel the prana. Bring the hands down as you prepare for goddess pose. Toes go out, heels are in, and sweep the arms overhead, bend the knees, sink the seat. Find that perfect place for your ankles and knees, and then draw the arms up over your head. As you exhale the hands to the heart, sweep them out. Inhale, flip the palms, legs and arms straight. Exhale, hands to heart, sweep it out. Two more times. Inhale, rising. Exhale, lowering. Now taking cactus arms, palms facing me, elbows in line with the shoulders, open your heart. And if you want to, you can rise up onto your tippy toes. Keep those inner thighs stretching back. And then inhale to your five-pointed star. Parallel your feet. And let's take the hands to the hips as we forward fold. Prasarita, Padottanasana. Flat back brings us down. Extend all the way down with your arms outstretched and place them on the earth or perhaps clasp onto your big toe with your index and middle fingers. Draw the low belly in. Use your legs here as you press into the earth. Keep the prana flowing through the body, closing the eyes. And now let's walk the hands back to center and jump into Malasana squat. Thighs, knees, ankles together, up on the tippy toes. <laughs> Great job. Now let's take a seat for Gomukhasana, cow face pose. Left leg crosses the right. Stack the knees. And then sweep the arms up and overhead as we forward fold for our cow face pose today. Flat back brings you down. Feeling this in the hips pretty well. Just go as low as is comfortable. Deep breaths. One more breath. Now begin to walk yourself back up and let's place the right hand down as you shift your weight onto your right knee, lifting the left arm, extending the left leg into half circle pose. Open through the side of your body here and then exhale back to your seat. Switch the legs, crossing the opposite leg underneath and stack the knees. Get the sit bones grounded and then inhale the arms out and overhead sweeping up the energy, touching the palms, and then let's forward fold, exhale to lower. Evening out through both sit bones here, finding that perfect balance of effort and ease. Breathe deep. And you can sure round and relax down if that doesn't bother your back. Take a couple more breaths. Inhale, back for your half circle pose. Left arm down, right arm up, extend the right leg. Ah, feel the stretch in the whole side body. And now sit down and let's come into Dandasana briefly. Stretch the arms up and overhead, hinging from the hips forward. And then scoop it back all the way down to the mat. Arms overhead, draw a deep breath, and then exhale, draw the knees into the heart. Take a little back massage here. And let's take a twist, extending the arms out to a T. Lower your knees down to one side. As you relax the shoulders, relax the face.
Using your core now, sweep the knees back to center. Hug yourself into that tiny ball. And then exhale, lower the body, lower the arms, take it to the other side. Coming back to center with the knees. Tiny little pebble stretching the whole back body. And let's come down onto our backs. Legs extended for Shavasana. Stretch long and open through the back body. Just give in to the earth. And take this time to integrate that beautiful fresh prana into your entire being. And now let's begin to find some movement in the body. And stretch the arms up and over our heads. And then coil in for that tiny, tiny squeeze of your entire body. As you roll over now onto your side, resting for just a moment in gratitude for this time spent just reconnecting breathing, and energizing. Rising up to Sukhasana pose and sitting in a dignified manner, bringing our hands to our heart and bowing our heads and setting your intention for today. Smiling. It is the light in me that sees and honors the light in you. Be well, be joyful, namaste. I hope you feel great. Have a beautiful day. See you next time.